Okay, we're going to talk about Star Trek Day and then also about uh, the Lower Decks, the Mining the Mines Mines in a moment. Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd. And uh, first I want to put kind of a critique on Star Trek Day. Now I know that what the Star Trek Day is, is the anniversary of the airing of the first episode of the original series. Uh, however, whenever things like this happen, where they have all day of streaming meetings and, and uh, uh, film clips and behind the scenes stuff, and uh, all this happens on a day I have to go to work. Uh, I, I'm still working in, in a day job, and so it's difficult to say, I'm going to take off work so I can watch TV all day. Uh, doesn't go over well with bosses, especially this time of year. So uh, what we have is um, what we've been able to put together as uh, some of the highlights, if you missed it as well. Uh, we have uh, uh, some good information First of all, season um, three of Picard uh, is going to start uh, February 16th uh, in the United States, and uh, he is going to be uh, working aboard the Titan. This is something that they've just now uh, released. So uh, the Titan is going to be the ship in which uh, Picard and much of his crew from the Enterprise is going to get together. The preview video suggests, however, that uh, maybe they're not doing so uh, completely officially. So uh, it'll be interesting uh, to know what they're up to, but certainly a last adventure for them uh, as this will be the uh, last season of Picard. Uh, we know that Prodigy is coming back on October 27th. A lot of people are enjoying that. Uh, Strange New Worlds uh, Season 2 is in production right now, and uh, they have hired Carol Kane, very uh, well-known actress, to play uh, the new engineer. Pelea uh, is going to be her name, and she will be an occasional cast member uh, on Strange New Worlds when it comes back uh, at some undisclosed date as of now. Uh, we also know that um, uh, Discovery Season 5 is in production, and um, we know that Tilly is going to be back, that they are going to have uh, as their overarching plot an ancient power uh, that has probably been in the galaxy for hundreds of years uh, that uh, is uh, going to need investigating and dealing with, and so that's going to be uh, a great deal of that. Also, um, there is going to be the first uh, dramatic podcast uh, by the Star Trek group uh, with um, Khan City Alpha 5. Uh, this podcast is going to be essentially a radio drama. And uh, way back in the day, Bob Justman said that they had the uh, budget uh, to make a good radio play uh, during the original series time. And, and some people have said, if you turn the picture off on the original series, that, uh, you could pretty much keep up with it because the special effects were such that they still had to describe what they were doing. So, uh, this, uh, would take well to a, uh, podcast drama, uh, con city alpha five, uh, that's going to be coming up sometime in 2023. And uh, we also know that um, uh, Wesley Crusher is going to be featured in a online game. Uh, it's going to be a role-playing game, and it is going to deal with the uh, Terran Empire. And Wesley is going to be the um, emperor of the Terran Empire. So that should be interesting, too, if you're into uh, RPG uh, games. So let's get now to uh, Lower Decks, uh, Season 3, Episode 3, which is Mining the Mines of Mines. And uh, what they find is they're on a planet where there are uh, sentient rocks. And uh, these rocks will uh, read your mind and uh, provide a personification of your fantasies. And then... Once that fantasy figure touches you, you turn to stone. It's uh, not the greatest thing in the world. And uh, the starship Hood is taken to uh, a 
deal with a, a peace treaty with them, and the Cerritos and another California-class ship are brought in to basically take down a uh, monitoring station that they had put there and uh, clean up other things. And uh, there is a competition between the Cerritos crew and the other California-class ship, and there is some misunderstanding as to the reputation of the Cerritos, something that bothers uh, Mariner, and um, also uh, uh, something that um, troubles um, the captain when uh, she and the captain of the other ship are trying to do the wrap-up negotiations with the people on this planet. Um, at the same time, the B story in this, we have Tendi staying on ship uh, who is going through science officer training and she finds herself um, mentored by the ship's counselor, who uh, we've established in the past is someone that just annoys everybody and uh, doesn't really seem to take uh, his job all that seriously anyway. So she's a little disappointed in that because she's read up everything that she can, and he's not offering her much help at all. Uh, she goes back to sick bay, and uh, the doctor, uh, with a few choice words, tells her what the essence of being a science officer is, and uh, without really saying what the science officer does, uh, the um, the counselor had basically said the way you be a science officer is that you annoy the captain with facts when uh, the captain is thinking that they know everything. Uh, however, that wasn't much use uh, to Tendi. The doctor's explanation was what you have to do in order to learn anything is to screw up. And uh, that she does, and uh, it does make uh, a turning point in the episode. Easter eggs, as you would expect in this. Uh, first of all, um, we see uh, Leah Brahms, who uh, was first featured in The Next Generation as uh, someone who was one of the designers of the Galaxy-class starship. Uh, we also see uh, one of Mariner's fantasies, which uh, embarrasses her. Uh, hard to do sometimes for a Mariner. And uh, we also see um, uh, what... Boimler's fantasy is a something that should be intuitively obvious. So uh, with all of this, uh, it's, a, it's a fun episode. It deals with fantasies and nightmares and uh, just what the reputation of the Cerritos is. Uh, we've always been told that they were uh, one of the least important ships in the fleet. And uh, maybe that's not really the case, at least not anymore. If you like what you see, we hope that you will become a subscriber. All you have to do is click on the circle in at the bottom of your screen or the subscribe button below here, and uh, that will make you a subscriber. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't provide any obligation on your part, but it does help the channel grow, and we would appreciate that. Also, if you have comments, please leave them below. We always read them and find them uh, very interesting. I answer as many of them as I can. And finally, I just wanted to say this, that uh, um, our, our sympathies go out to uh, all of our uh, friends around the world who uh, uh, liked Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, I have to say that uh, I was always taken by her uh, oratory, her uh, uh, ability to uh, put things in a way that politicians normally cannot. Uh, I think that uh, that talent is something that is very singular to her, and uh, uh, I believe uh, I'm certain that uh, she will be very much missed. So uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next time. Until then, don't go far.